now that I've got a nice size pinch pot, I am ready to start adding the details of the face that I have designed. So there's two different ways that you can add details to your clay. One is by gently pressing from the inside outward. I'm just gonna feel for like the thickest area first before I decide where that face is gonna go. I'm just gonna feel that side might work best because it's a little tiny bit thicker here than it is other places. I think over here is where the face is going to go. It's just a little bit on the thicker side. It's supporting and shaping it from the outside here. So right now I'm kind of thinking about the beginning of a nose. So I'm gently kind of pushing that clay out while I'm pinching it into the shape that I might want. So my fingers on the inside supporting and then my fingers are on the outside kind of sculpting and moving that clay in the direction that I want it to go. So you can see kind of the beginning of a nose there that can turn into a nose. Maybe I want the base of the nose to be a bit wider. So I can just start pressing that out, supporting it here, making sure I'm not pushing too much at once. This is a gradual process. If we try to force clay too quickly, it doesn't like that and it starts to crack it starts to get too thin, it won't hold its shape. So we've got to be real gentle with this. If we really want dramatic features on the face, we're going to want to add clay onto our, our surface. If we want the features to be more subtle, we can probably get away with just pinching and kind of pushing it from the inside. So you can see the inside is kind of denting in. You can see right here where the nose is kind of pushing out. And then here's where it is. So on this first day, this would be probably as far as we might get. Um, this is the beginning of some of those facial features starting to happen. And um, now I can start thinking about areas that I can continue to sculpt or add. we